So today is July 3, 2016, and we are in a social meeting, and we'll be looking at um, part of the Ellen White pamphlet, An Appeal to Our Churches in Behalf of Home Missionary Work. And we are on page 11. In this pamphlet so far, Ellen White has talked about the importance of each individual engaging in the work of the gospel. And there's a number of different aspects that she has brought out in relation to that point. Um, but that is one of the, the main points that we are to take from this. So I won't go through and recap everything that we've gone through so far, but that's the basic point. The section that we'll be reading, again, it's on page 11, and it's a section titled, Evils of Inaction. So, Heavenly Family, please help us to understand these principles. Help us to truly discern the evils of inaction and to apply these principles to our own selves. Arouse us into activity, Heavenly Family. Help us to cooperate with you for the sake of the salvation of the world. Amen. Toda Elohim. We ask these things, B'Shem Tzemach, in the name of Branch. Amen. So, page 11, paragraph 1. What can we expect but deterioration in religious life when the people listen to sermon after sermon and do not put into practice the instruction given? Mm. The ability God has given, if not exercised, will degenerate, and men and women unemployed will become as tools that rust from inaction. Let the missionary meeting be turned to account in teaching the people how to do missionary work. Which again, this is one of the reasons we are reading this pamphlet, to teach us how to do missionary work and to introduce how this should be part of our meeting. And in this pamphlet, Ellen White, she uses the phrase missionary meeting, but she also uses the phrase social meeting. So continuing on. Put work into their hands, and let not the youth be ignored, but let them come in to share in the labor and responsibility. Let them feel that they have a part to act in helping and blessing others. Even the children should be taught to do some little errand of love and mercy for those less fortunate than themselves. So I hope that the younger folks on this call are listening to this aspect and paying attention and of course we've talked about it before but yeah you guys know that our Heavenly Family has given you skills and talents to put to use in doing their work and in helping others so continuing on the very simplest modes of work should be devised and set in operation among the churches. If members will cooperate with such a plan and perseveringly carry it out, they will reap a rich reward, for their experience will go brighter, their ability will increase through exercise, 
and souls will be saved through their efforts. Amen. I'm obligated to mention one of these simple modes of work that our Heavenly Family has given us the privilege to do that has not generally been carried out as it should. And that is posting studies online. You know, this is such a simple mode of work that our Heavenly Family has given us. And some here have improved with that, of course. Some here have uh, been taking that and, and posting studies. But generally speaking, the things that we, you know, there are YouTube videos and studies and audio studies and all these things that you know, we have the website which is improving. We have a lot of online content. You know, literally hundreds of things. And it's very simple to copy and paste a link and put it into a Facebook group. And there are hundreds of Facebook groups. And I encourage each one of you, you know, make it a point that when something new gets posted in terms of branch content, whether it's a new YouTube video or um, on the website, there's all these audio studies that have been posted, to take the link and put it on as many groups as you can. You know, if you don't have time to put it on every group that you know of, well, then you can't necessarily put it on every single one if you simply don't have the time and if the time is actually being used in what our Heavenly Family has given you to do. I used to make the time to do this. Every new video that I would make, I would post it on as many groups as I possibly can. Of course, I wouldn't be indiscriminate if there's a group that would not necessarily benefit from that particular video or which would be, would be a greater stumbling block for those particular people, I wouldn't post it there. Or if there's a group that is specifically devoted to a certain topic and anything um, that is not on that topic would be unwelcome, well, I wouldn't post it there. You know, it's in keeping with the, the regulations of the group. Every video that I would put on YouTube, I would post it on as many Facebook groups as I could find, and I would post it on other websites and try to get it out there as much as possible. And we all ought to do the same thing. Even if two people end up posting something on the same group right away, whether it's the same thing or something different, that's not necessarily bad. So I really encourage you all to pray about that and to move yourself into action in posting present truth content all over the Internet. And of course, Facebook is just what has become the typical place where people will meet you know, on Facebook groups to discuss religious topics or just on your own Facebook timeline, things like that. This is so, so very simple. You know, it's, this is a far simpler task than going do door to door and trying to talk to people. And even that isn't all that complicated. You know, we should be doing things like that too. We need fishing and hunting. But fishing does come first. And just putting links out there that is a, a form of doing this fishing work, of putting out the truth and whoever bites, bites. So I really encourage you guys, please do continue posting and engage in conversation with the people. And if depending on where you live, uh, you might be in a place where, hey, you know what? 
you can give out booklets. You, you know, we can print them. If there's more that needs to be printed, more will be printed. Our Heavenly Family will open the way for more and more printing. If you live in a place where you have people around that you can give literature to, which most of us do, then do that. Just give them literature. Talk to them a little bit. You know, and as you share, our Heavenly Family will improve your ability to share more. But you have to start somewhere. It's our responsibility to spread the light. So these are a couple means that our Heavenly Family has already pointed out. And if you haven't put them to use, then please put them to use. And if those particular methods, for whatever reason, aren't possible in your circumstance or don't work in your circumstance, then find another method. Find some way to communicate the truth to people for your own sake and for their sake. Amen. So I'll read this uh, from the beginning of this paragraph again. Sorry, can I ask a question first? Yes. Um, Trent, you mentioned about putting it up on other websites. What, what, what did you mean in regards to that? Well, there are other websites um, devoted to discussion and things like there's There's a website called Adventist Online. And, and it's actually a website? Yeah, it's actually a website. Interesting. Yeah, Adventist Online. It's an Adventist forum. Thousands and thousands of Adventists on there discussing things. I don't know if they've become less active due to Facebook now, um, mm-hmm. but last I checked, they're still very active, even when Facebook has been going on. And, um, yeah, that's a, a website. You can post video links. You can start discussions by posting um, text. And you could even just, if you, you could write something up yourself or you could uh, copy and paste something from a rod or branch study even. So okay, there, are, there are many things. Yeah, many things. So that's one website. Um, there are other forums. There's Yahoo discussion groups. There's um, other online things like PalTalk. We used to use PalTalk, or I, I did. Leroy used to be on PalTalk all the time. And pal talk is a sort of thing where you can go on and type to each other or talk to each other audibly, and people will start a group, and then they have discussions, and there's all sorts of religious groups on pal talk. You could go into their groups as well and start discussing with them on whatever point they're talking about and draw them to the truth. Or you could start your own group, and people will probably end up coming into your room. You can give it different names. And, yeah, I mean, you could be on there and even just play audio studies through the group so that someone who comes in, they hear an audio study playing. There's many, many different ways online. If you just look up online discussion websites or online forums, okay, online great. religious forums... Yeah, that's you could Google that. That's that would be a good way. There's so many. Okay, thanks. Mm-hmm. Wonderful. Okay, so from the beginning of this paragraph again, the very simplest modes of work should be devised and set in operation among the churches. If members will cooperate with such a plan and perseveringly carry it out. They will reap a rich reward. Now, please, everyone, notice the promise in this sentence. If members will cooperate with such a plan and perseveringly carry it forward, they will reap a rich reward. For their experience will grow brighter. Their ability will will increase through exercise, and souls will be saved through their efforts. What a promise. That is so, so beautiful, so wonderful. So let's just take this one thing. 
either post things online, just post links, post statements, post uh, audio studies, video studies, written studies, whatever it may be. Post things online if you are able. I know that not everyone here has as much internet access, but if you are on the internet, if you have internet access, please post things online and recognize that if you simply carry that out, if you cooperate with that plan perseveringly, that you will reap rich reward. This is an opportunity for you, by the way, to test that, to test our Heavenly Family. You know, this is a promise that they're giving you. Put it to the test. Gain an experimental knowledge. Do the experiment. See whether they keep their word. You can play videos in the Pell Talk rooms too. Awesome. You can play videos in the Pell Talk rooms. Wonderful. Yes, I mean, do these things. And if you are someone who does not have internet access or has very limited internet access, then give out literature. So, yes, please, everyone. Uh, we'll, and we'll just keep it as simple as that for this meeting. There's other things that we can recommend, other modes of work. Perhaps next week we'll talk about that. But take this and take it and don't put it off to another time. Start this week and take tomorrow, so, you know, and maybe even today. Depending on your time zone, it's not that late. Take today. If you have internet, start posting online. Look at all these Facebook groups. And look up more Facebook groups. Anything religious, anything, you know, any Christian group, you can look up the term Christian. Look up terms like Apocrypha, Pseudepigrapha, um, Bible Canon, um, Truth, Reality, anything, anything that relates to the message at all. There's so many points of the message. You know, anything Adventist, anything Protestant even, whatever it may be. You can even, if you grew up in a certain religion, like let's say you grew up Catholic, well you could look for Catholic groups and you can relate to Catholics because you were formerly a Catholic. And you could talk to Catholics, witness to them. If you were a Baptist, if you were a Methodist or whatever your former faith was, or your former non-faith. Find people that you can relate to. You know, you can find more groups and reach out to those people. This is such an excellent way for you to go about things. And uh, put it into practice. Start today. If it's just too late and you're so tired and you know that you're supposed to sleep, well then sleep and start tomorrow. But don't wait. Why stand all the day idle? Mm. No, we have a world to save. Amen. Let's put it into practice. Let's make sure we have some testimonies for next social meeting. Amen. You know, let's get to work and do this. Heavenly Family, bless us all, please, as we go to work carrying this forward. It's really, you know, this kingdom won't be set up if we just sit around idle. No, we must be active. Let us do it. Let us just carry it forward. Let us let nothing stop us and we will see results. In Ellen White's next statement, this is continuing on the paragraph. So she said, you know, she's saying this promise that if we cooperate with the plan and perseveringly carry it out, that we will reap rich rewards. Our experience will grow brighter, our ability will increase through exercise, and souls will be saved through our efforts. I love that. Oh, I love that too. So she continues on. She says, But if, on the other hand, the churches are left to their inactivity, Satan will see that they are employed. Mm. Notice that. Just like Dylan said, you got to serve somebody. It may be the devil or it may be the Lord, but you got to serve somebody. That's the truth. We will either be employed in the work of our Heavenly Family or in the work of the wicked gods. So let us go to work for our Heavenly Family. 
let us go to work for our Heavenly Family. Mm. So it says, you know, if on the other hand, the churches are left to their inactivity, Satan will see that they are employed. He will preoccupy the field and give members lines of work to do that will engage their energies, kill spirituality, and make them fall as dead weights upon the church. Notice, she's talking about that in terms of individuals. So we, as individuals, can drag down the movement of truth by our inactivity. So let us be active. Let's not let the devil use us as his tool to tear down the truth and to slow down the progress of the message and the movement. Rather, let us go to work cooperating with our Heavenly Family for the salvation of souls. Do you all agree? Amen. Will you all agree to do that? I will. I'll do more. Amen. Lord willing and helping me, I will do more. I will, too. I have some more things I need to learn to do it, but I can learn it. Amen. Amen. Me, too. Amen. Me, too. <laughs> me, three. Well, I think that this is a good place to stop, and we can continue on this pamphlet in the next social meeting. So let us... Thank our Heavenly Family, and then, of course, we'll bring the whole meeting to an end. Would anyone like to thank them and ask them to guide us? I will. Wonderful. Dear Heavenly Family, we pray that you will be with each and every one of us as we endeavor to do more for your cause in the saving of souls and just help us in every way that you can and watch over our loved ones. We know you know everything we need, so we just ask this in your name. Amen. 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 Toda Elohim. Yes.